I have not. I've been to Frome. Yeah, this is like Frome, but there's no pedaling. I am a fan of uh, not pedaling when I don't have to. Yeah. I've got friends who like to pedal, so it's always like. Right now, we have linked up with a familiar face. You might be familiar with him. It, Van Can, guys. also known as Nick. Yeah, we, we do actually have real names, but you can just call him Van Can. So what's it like, what's the deal with this? Is this logging road? Like, or is it oh, a ski hill? Ski hill, okay. Yeah, so because, so Vancouver's on the ocean, we don't really get snow at sea level. Yep. Um, but you will get snow up in the mountains. So at about, uh, yeah, like the 800 meter mark above elevation, or above the ocean, it'll snow during the winter. Okay. And. And then there's still more mountain up there, so they have ski hills. Sweet. Okay. I feel like uh, here I need to be very careful with my tendency just to stray off trail because I really love doing that. I feel like there's a lot of options that might not work out so hot. There's a lot of, yeah, there are a lot of side hits, but there's a lot of things that go into just like a boulder fields or like mm -hmm. deadfall mm -hmm. or just death. But yeah. Let's have at it. Hey, I don't know what special technology they use on their wood out here, but the wood actually has grip. Wow. Not expecting this whole thing to be paved. <laughs> this is... This is rad. This is awesome. Just a, just a little bit of rock work. Yeah, just a little bit. So the last time I rode in this area, I rode Mount Frome. And I didn't really get to sample a whole lot of trail. So we're on our way to Whistler. So we're just kind of uh, stopping by to hang out with Nick for a bit. And he's giving us a tour of which is one of the more iconic trail networks in the area. It's just so crazy, to, like this style of trail is wildly different than anything we have back home. I'll go around the puddle. <clears throat> right now, I'm really just trying to get a feel for this terrain and understand how the builders build out here. Every place you go to. I really appreciate like the trail out here. It's just so vastly different than anything we have. So even like probably the stuff that you ride a million times and you're kind of bored of. Super cool to me. So it's funny, I tell, every time I tell someone that I'm bringing someone to the shore, they, I tell them what I'm going to bring them on. I'm like, oh, we'll go to CBC proper and like corkscrew, boogeyman. And they're like, oh, don't ride that. Like, that's the boring stuff. And for us, it is. But I remember what it was like to ride this for the first time. And I was like, this is sick. Yeah. So different. Yeah, it's it's like, there's like certain things like you got to take the tour, like you got to do to see the sites. You got to do the tourist things. <laughs> yeah. And like, it'd be crazy to say that like, this is a bad trail. This is not a it's bad trail. The level of trail here is just so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, f like for us, like, we don't get to ride anything like this ever. Like, nothing's ever rock armored. That, that's so much rock armoring work. Holy crap. And that's what makes it last 
yeah like decades well the, like i was saying this it is on the island it was also this case but maybe it's because it's eroded so much but the dirt here is a little bit coarser yeah like it's like coarse sand versus um or co coarse loam versus like our loam is very silty and i think the other thing like i i envy about this area is just the canopy is up there and you just have like even pretty even lighting like not always but for the most part like the lighting is a lot more like even whereas like our leaves are a lot like lower down so you get really harsh shadows that suck yeah so these are small trees and once we go down a bit maybe i'll just point out this was all logged that's why they're small yep and once we get to the woodwork down here uh, i'll just be like hey look at this tree <laughs> i should be like oh that is a massive tree <laughs> Yeah, you can see some of the old growth stumps around. <laughs> Whoa, that is a big tree to my left. <laughs> that guy, well that, oh my God. That guy's a, <laughs> this tree right here. I feel like the one we went around back there on the inside was bigger. Yeah, and there's this one here. And there's actually one with a little hole in it you could almost climb in. Yeah, I also like, it's funny, like a lot of people associate East Coast with small trees, which now is the case. But the East Coast used to have giant trees just as big. Mm -hmm. We used to have, uh, it was uh, chestnut trees. Right. But those were all logged eons ago for railroad and lumber. And so like we're like, basically the whole East Coast is on its second growth forest mm -hmm. or third. It, it, it is so much more grippy. Like, I mean, most of our trees are not really good for lumber. Like we, we have uh, uh, Eastern hemlocks, right. which are like some of our more rot resistant, resistant trees. We don't have too many of those. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, see how we go today. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's not touch brakes. That seems like a bad idea. That is. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I can see again. A little bit less overcast right now. And it's starting to warm up. A little janky rock roll drop in here. All right, well. It's nice riding in uh, moist conditions after riding in a dust bowl for the past few weeks. Oh, wow, that rock is really grippy. Oh, we're at the road. Cool. My shoulder's been bothering me as I go on this trip. Like, mm. I don't like know if I've been sleeping on it wrong or something, but like it's... Lots of riding maybe? <sighs> maybe, it just like, it doesn't seem like I've really ridden all that much. Like, 
But I will say I've, I, I've definitely been spending a lot more time trail building than I have riding past uh, few months. It's so I, easily, I'm so easily distracted by trees. I know. <laughs> Whether they're on the ground and meant to be ridden or in the, <laughs> still standing. <laughs> Damn, some of those impressions are hard. And my shoes are wet. I do not like wet feet. Ooh. These are really fun. I find mountain bike jumps, especially at like a new bike park, to be extremely scary because I'm used to dirt, like BMX dirt jumps. You hit the first jump, everything else comes. You don't need a brake check, you don't need to pedal, you have the speed. Whereas like mountain bike parks, you come into a jump, you'll case the crap out of it and then overshoot the next one. Yep. And I'm like, so I have like PTSD from those like experiences where like anytime I come up to a jump where I can't see the landing, I'm a little hesitant for that reason. Like, I'm not scared of not making it. I'm scared of, like, hucking the flat. I don't like that. <laughs> My brick cooled off. It's up for that one correctly. Oh boy. Yep. This is where I, uh, this is where you can tell I'm not a North Shore rider. Well, I went the wrong way, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that. I was so hyper fixated on making through like, I feel like that's pretty chill for you. Uh, I've fallen at the like, the little wiggle sometimes. Um, Cause when you get a little tired and you're not like totally on the game and you just get that wiggle a little wrong, your front wheel is just, Check you later. That, like, that's about like as risky of a skinny as I usually like am willing to send. It's just it, like I like, I'm just like I've never been good at slow speed tech. Just keep going straight. 
Okay, okay. And then, uh, so yeah, little, little jumps, and then we'll get onto a wood bridge called the Drooler. The Drooler? It's a roll, but it's, that one is really steep. Like it goes just about vertical okay. on the wood. So, so don't go really fast over the edge. Noted. Else, it's very scary. <laughs> All right. You could drop it. Jesus, you weren't kidding about that being steep. I'm glad I squashed that one. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Oh dear God. Do not look down, Phil. Just keep keep going straight, keep going straight, and just don't look to the sides. Really? You, you fell right there. You fell off right there. It's the easiest part of the... That has no reason to be that scary. It's like, like I have no problem on being on a trail that wide. Put me up in the air. Yeah. Then my uh, lizard brain kicks in. I would need probably like a month of riding here to get kind of. I think you'd acclimatize quite. Good. Which is why I told you like, let's not do like the janky stuff right now. Like I think like I could get comfortable with it, but like fresh off the boat, like no way. Like, it, it is a total different skill set from hmm. what I'm used to. Yeah. Not very many things trigger my fear of heights. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally like about to shout at you and be like, come get me. <laughs> this is probably the most dank move so far. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, it's a pedal uh, dangler. <laughs> I'm totally not dabbing with my shin right now. Dear. Okay. It's I've seen that in so many videos. Yeah, it's just a chain and it just kind of bobbles around on it. So your back tire almost didn't make it onto the entrance. Well, that would have been fine. I almost tipped over this side like a canoe. <laughs> This is the jump trail, Boogie Night. Kind of a tech jump trail. Um, reasonable size jumps. Is this what you showed me? Uh, oh yeah, the jump trail. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then there's Boogie Man also. So, you're gonna do a lot of jumps soon. So I thought maybe we would ride the tech instead. Let's do tech, let's do tech. I, I'm here for the iconic weird stuff. Yeah. This is a, a really good jump trail, but you know, you'll ride D1 and stuff. You can find it in Whistler, similar style. Uh, less so this trail. Sure, we'll do that. So I know you said no jank, but this is slightly jank. 
I mean, we'll ease into it. I think we've been easing into it. Yeah, this is kind of what I signed up for. Um, yeah. I'm a little nervous with my hurt leg to go down here, but this is a nice line right here. Dirt, straight across the rock, down, and then that's the drop. Easy drop? Yeah, slow that. So. so. A little nervous. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the thing that's like hard is there are so many options. Yeah. It's not that like there's like two lines. No, there's five. Mm -hmm. And they all have their own extra like three options themselves. Mm -hmm. So now we're up to 15. I think I can math. Getting into the down of the rock is nice. Um, and not bad. You, you, you'll land and you'll kind of just go. Doo -doo. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm not going to do this one. It was a little bit bigger like once I actually got to it. I can see why you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not the fa my most favorite thing I've ever done. Oh. <clears throat> it's an old free ride line. <clears throat> Lots of pops around here. Oh, we got pops. <laughs> Did you get that double? Uh, I got some double. I, I don't know if I got that double. Which one are you talking about? Your left, yeah. There's a rotten rog, uh, rotten log. Keep going left. Uh, Just monster trucking my way over. Yeah. Because the rock roll goes that way. Yeah. So, pretty grippy, although I've never ridden in the wet. It is granite, but tons of break. Break as much as you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then there's a pretty big roll right there, and it's it's big, but you break down it. I would not romp down it too fast. Slight geode at the bottom of the next one or this one? Of the big one. Yeah. This one has is bumpy though, like yeah. there's like a lip. Oh. <laughs> well, that does happen from time to time. Stupid curb. I know. So it used to be dirt, right? And then you can still make a lift. And a surprising amount of front brake is available. Yeah, like this. This didn't need to be so stick out so much. Oh, my bar's straight. Yeah, close enough. I 
I've written it, and I don't plan on doing it right now. <laughs> There we go. Woo. Yeah, my bars are definitely crooked. That was probably the sketchiest I've ever ridden. I mean, you kind of had to. Yeah, well, well, you messed my belly flop the first time. You belly flop? It's like, slowest OTB ever. <laughs> Rock Island, maybe. It's actually not as bad. Really? Maybe, maybe if I do it, you'll get the courage. But uh, yes, it's generally awful. I want nothing to do with this. It just seems like the bottom is like super G'd out. Uh, it is less, less than you would think. I'll, I'll let you know if I do it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Props to you, that thing's gnarly. Scarier than it is hard? Yeah. Um, it took me forever to do it, so. I just, the only reason I did it now is like, I remember it being really scary, but also very smooth. But you do need to go very slow. Yeah. Props? No, okay. You. This may be the first time and last time <laughs> that I get you to walk away from this way. Maybe if I spent more time here, I'd be more comfortable uh, with it, but it's just like, it just does not look inviting. Yeah, no, no, no. It, uh... <laughs> not once have I ever gone to someone else's zone and, like, ridden their gnar lines and been like, yeah. Like, That's easy. <laughs> it's like, they're so used to it, right? Yeah. Sweet. All right, I just realized I didn't do an outro for the video, so, um... <laughs> Yeah, that was actually a really fun ride. I wish we got a chance to do a little bit more, but uh, we're in a bit of a time crunch. So yeah, now we're making our way back or making our way to Whistler. And uh, yeah, so the next few videos should be from Whistler, which uh, usually um, are pretty fun. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, I have another building video on my other channel, Skills or not Skills, so, uh, Phil's World. <laughs> Go check that out. It's getting a lot of good reviews. I will eventually post a recap of that video here on this channel, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's enough of me rambling. Bye, bye.